And now for the overly classic flag basics. All right, first off, we're gonna start with the anatomy of a flag. You've got this portion right here, smack dab in the middle of your flag called the tab. You've got this bottom area right here called the bottom, bottom crutch tip. And it is literally a crutch tip taped to the bottom of your flag. Then you've got this one right here called the top crutch tip. Same exact thing. Then you've got these guys right here. This is your bottom cheater and your top cheater. These are called the cheaters. You also have some on the inside of your silk. You can't see them, but you can definitely feel them whenever you're spinning. Now first, we're going to start off with our drop spins. Let's start off with our right drop spins. You're going to start right here with your right hand right here at the tab and your left hand down here flush with the end of the bottom crutch tip. Coming in right here in your belly button area. Now let's cover our and count. Five and six and five, six, seven, squeeze. And this is your and count right here in front of your nose. Now count, count cover, count number one, five and six and five, six, seven, squeeze and one. Now on count number one, you're gonna notice this right here. Both of my thumbs are down and the silk is down. Now you're gonna notice as we're going through these drop spins that during odds, the silk is down and during evens, the silk is up. Also, you're gonna notice during odds, your thumbs are down and during evens, your thumbs are up. Now let's cover two counts so you can see that yourself. Five and six and five, six, seven, squeeze and one, two. Now it's also very important as you're doing these drop spins that you maintain the same area of your body. Um, you should stay right around here in your abdominal area. Um, if you're too high, your arms get tired really quickly. So try to stay right here. Make sure you're boxed out. You're not too close to your body and your elbows aren't down because that'll just look weak and in strong winds like this one here that I'm in right now. Um, you might accidentally grab your silk and then it'll look gross and you will not be able to get out of it. It happens. Now, let's cover those two counts of that drop spin again. Ready? Five and six and five, six, seven, squeeze and one, two. Now notice silk is up. Both of my thumbs are up here. Now let's cover eight counts drop stop or a proper stop. Ready? Five and six and five, six, seven, squeeze and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drop stop. This right here is a proper stop with your left hand right here at this top inside cheater and your right hand right here at the tab. Your hand is going to slide up very quickly right to get here and your hand is just going to grab right here. It's kind of like a little pop. Now let's do the left side. You're going to start your left side just like this here with your left hand at the tab and your right hand down here at the bottom cheater. Same area right here in your belly button area. Now let's cover the and count. Five and six, and five, six, seven, squeeze, and you're going to notice it's right here in front of my nose, same exact way, as, same exact as the right, except it's going this way instead of this way. Now let's cover count one, five, and six, and five, six, seven, squeeze, and one. Both my thumbs are down, the silk is down. Let's cover two counts, five, and six, and five, six, seven, squeeze, and one, two. Both my thumbs are up. The silk is up. Now let's cover um, eight and a proper stop. Five and six and five, six, seven, squeeze and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop, stop. Now with the drop, stop, it's going to be the exact same as it was on the right, except your hands are switched. Instead of your left hand being up here, it's your right hand. It's also going to slide just like it was on the other side. Um, and your left hand's down here at the top. Now let's cover. Whoops. Now let's cover some pool hits. Pool hits are a little bit more advanced, but not really. They're very fun, in my opinion at least. Now you're going to start with your hands like this. You're going to start with your right hand down here at the tab, and your left hand right here at the bottom cheater, which is kind of at the top right now. Now this is the motion of your hands. You're going to go five and six, and five, six, seven, squeeze, pull, hit. That is the exact motion of your hands. It's going to, you're going to release and pull your flag. It's going to spin rather fast and then you're going to re-grab in the exact same place that it was before. Now let's try that. You might want to start draping your, start with draping your flag right around your side right here. Ready? Five and six and five, six, seven, squeeze, pull, hit. Now notice how I caught a little bit down here, 
try and catch up here. Um, it's very important. Same thing with rifle. Um, after you do something, be able to stand there, hold it where you stopped, and tell yourself what you did wrong and how you should fix it. Now let's try that one more time. Five and six and five, six, seven. Squeeze, pull, hit. Now that time I wasn't didn't wasn't able to um, grab the top of the pole in time. Now a very good uh, way to start off learning these. I'm not going to do it because the wind's a little bit heavy right now. Um, is ooh, that was scary? Is this right here? Um, you're going to go pull, hit, hold, hold, pull, hit, hold, hold, pull, hit, pull, hit, pull, hit, pull, hit. That's a very good exercise to start off with. Um, you can also do it on your left side. Um, my instructors covered it, but it's not really a priority for us. So you can go ahead and try that. Be adventurous. Your choice. Um, up next, we have cones. I'm going to face this way here so it makes a little bit more sense. Now, you're going to start like this right here. Um, your hand, your right hand is going to be on your tab, and your left hand is going to be right here at the bottom cheater, which is now technically at the bottom again, I guess. Um, I'm going to face this way. I already told you that. Now, your instructor, however, on the hand grips might be a little bit different. Um, it might be over, over. I can't possibly imagine your instructor going under, under. Um, but this is how I learned it, so this is how I'm going to show you. Now you start like this, flat right here at your waistline area, and count one. This is count one right here. Five and six and five, six, seven, squeeze, and one. That is count one right here. This hand's kind of sort of going to be in line with your belly button. This hand's going to be straight out. Don't um, have your elbows bent or else it kind of looks flat. Straight out. Now uh, let's cover that one more time so you can see. Five and six. And five, six, seven, squeeze, and one. Make sure you're being strong. You're not just kind of getting there. Make sure you're actually pulling to get to your spot that you need to be at. Now let's go for count two. This one's count one. This here is count two. Now before we I teach y'all count two, pretend you've got a you've got a watch or whatever, and the face is on this side. You're looking directly at your watch. This hand is still kind of in line with your belly button. Um, this hand, this arm is bent this arm is straight. Okay? Now let's try that. Five and six and five, six, seven, squeeze, and one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. That is count. Those are the first two counts. Oh, we kind of died down. That's fine. Now we're going to go for the third count. We've covered one. We've covered two. This here is three. This arm is bent. This arm is straight. You're going to be looking right at your watch. You've got it on normally, like a normal human being right now. And you're looking at it just like this. And this arm is straight, pointing out that way there. Now let's cover that. Five and six and five, six, seven. Squeeze in one, two, three, four, and two, two, three, four, and three, two, three, four. Now let's cover the fourth count. Um, the fourth count varies between instructor to instructor. Um, my instructor likes it right here splitting down the middle. Your instructor might like it here, or your instructor might like it here. It's up to your instructor. Um, not my opinion. I'm not going to jump in and tell you they're wrong. Now to show you a fourth count, I'm going to face this way so it makes a little bit more sense. Ready? Five, and six, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and two, two, three, four, and three, two, three, four, and four, two, three, four, flat. That is how I learned um, cones and go right ahead and learn them on the left side. I do know them on the left side here, just for kicks, let's go over them. Five, and six, and five, six, seven, squeeze, and one, two, three, four, and two, two, three, four, and three, two, three, four, and four, two, three, four, flat. Those are your cones on the left and the right side. Um, hand positions, um, your instructor might be like, eh, no, they're wrong. Well, that's how my instructor taught me, so. Um, if you have any questions, if you want to learn something else, maybe that I didn't show you, send me a message, hit me up, subscribe, maybe. Thanks. Bye.